morning. Um, for more than 20 years now, I've been a contributing photographer for National Geographic magazine. And I've traveled around the world and taken pictures mainly on conservation issues. And I realized that what, I, what I'm doing here in the wild is just not enough. Through my career, I have seen more and more species head towards extinction. More and more and more. It's just not enough. So now I'm in the second act of my career. I'm 50 years old. Maybe I have another 20 years left, maybe, if I'm lucky. What am I going to do to save species? I went from doing this to taking black and white backgrounds with me and doing this. Instead of being in the bushmeat market only with the drill that's going to become supper that night for someone, took black velvet and make him immortal. So I started doing this more and more and more everywhere I can go. Everywhere Geographic sends me, every continent, every state, all the time, eight years ago. I call it the photo arc. The goal is to get animals on black and white backgrounds and to get people to care. That's it. Look them in the eye. See how amazing amphibians are? Whatever I have to do to get people to care. What's it going to take? I don't know. So far, it hasn't worked out too well for me. I'm seeing almost 50% of the amphibians either at extinction now or at risk of extinction. This one, at a lab in Ecuador, down to eight, seven, five or four, couple. Now you're looking at the very last one. See, we're talking about extinction today. I see these species right before they go extinct. That's where I come in. And I try to get the world to care about something as tragic as this. The very last Rab's fringed limb tree frog at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. And I'm up close and I look him in the eye and I think, holy cow, I really need to tell the world about this. Surely they would stop driving things to extinction if they knew. Well, not so, I'm afraid. Here's the very last Columbia Basin pygmy rabbit. It's extinct now. Did anybody care? If I can't get people to care about that, am I going to get them to care about this last remaining pool of water that holds an insect, an invertebrate, that's aquatic? Or something without eyes, even, that we can relate to? Freshwater mussels? 75, 80% of them are in, in, in need of federal protection now. They clean our water. They tell us something's drastically wrong. Or an insect that's down to a couple hundred animals in my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska. What do I have to do? Do I have to photograph animals that are electrified in color or have a smile on their face or might be deadly or just are plain weird looking or anthropomorphic? What do I have to do? I think about this question all the time. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Every class of animal now is at risk. We're at risk of losing half of all species by the turn of the next century. We know it's bad. What to do? Well, what I've come down to is this. After eight years, I've photographed nearly 3,000 species this way out of the 6,000 species captive. My goal, if I live this long, is to get all the captive species in the world, to get people engaged, to get the public engaged. That's the thing. How do we do this? We have to make it interesting. We have to get people off the couch. We have to get them to care about more than the price at the pump and what's on television. We have to engage them and get them to meet these animals face to face. Most people live in cities now. They don't live out in the country. They're never going to have a chance to see these things unless they get involved somehow. And look at these animals right in the eye. We have to make it interesting. We have to make it fun. We have to get it so that the public actually stops and thinks about it being popular. Popular to care about animals. Yes, indeed. We see it with social media. We see it with trends in fashion. We see it every day. People will save something if they think other people are saving it. They will only follow each other. Somehow, in this discussion we're having today, and I want to see species brought back from extinction as much as anybody, believe me, we must make it so that it is, it is popular and mandatory to be good stewards of the earth. That is the thing. That is the rub. How do we get there? I don't know. Tick, tick, tick. Time's running out, isn't it? Can we do it? Absolutely we can. So far, most of what you've seen here does not have to go away. It's dying off for lack of attention. 
We just need to get this on the public's radar screen. Have we done it before? You bet we have. We've done it many times. We've saved the giant panda so far. And some of these animals that you're seeing here got down to 20 animals or fewer. We can do this. Absolutely. There's no time to lose, though, is there? No time to lose. I often get discouraged if I'm out in the field and I'm seeing the last of something and I think, holy cow, what am I going to do? How do I get people to care? Is it worth it? Absolutely. Margaret Mead once said so famously, never doubt that a small group of concerned citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Thank you.